Hi, this is Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I'm here today with a new dyeing experiment. I am going to combine two of my favorite techniques, dyeing speckled yarn and breaking Wilton's Violet food coloring. Today as a yarn base, we have 100 grams of Knit Picks Bare Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn. Um, this yarn is 75% superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. I pre-soaked the yarn in 16 cups of water with three generous tablespoons of white vinegar. Um, so the acid that we need to dye yarn with food coloring is already present on the yarn. I then squeezed out most of the water from the yarn so it is wet but not dripping. And I'm laying it out on this cookie sheet because I plan to steam set the color in a steamer pot. If I wanted a really dark color, I could apply dye directly from the food coloring container to the fiber. But that's not what I want to do because I want the dye, I don't want there to be globs of dye that will smear or anything. I want to have um, it be a little more liquid. So what I'm going to do is mix some of the gel food coloring into one tablespoon of water to dilute it a bit. So I've got here an eighth of a tablespoon measuring spoon, which I am going to generously fill with food coloring. And then I'm going to mix it into this one tablespoon of water. Normally, I just kind of guesstimate how much food coloring I'm using, but today I actually am measuring it out so that way if you like the results, you can have an easier time replicating it. And I will, I'm going to just keep stirring this until all of the dye has dissolved into this water. I'm wearing nitrile gloves just to protect my hands from getting any dye on them because food coloring does stain, so you want to take care and protect your work surface, which I'm doing with the cookie sheet today, or and you know protect your hands, or else you could end up with some speckled skin. I really liked the fork method of making speckled yarn when I did dried Kool-Aid, so I am going to use a similar method with this food coloring using a plastic fork and speckling and dipping it into the concentrated dye and then whoops, speckling the fiber. Now what makes this an experiment today? I do not know if I'm going to see any color breaking. It's possible that the colors will wick through um, and that we'll see some color separation or the dye could be concentrated enough that we just get some deep purple dots. But if you look on this paper towel, let's see if you can. But for example, if you look at this paper towel, you can see how the colors of the Wilton's Violet have separated. So I'm not sure if we will see some of this in the fiber itself or not. Um, but, you know, it'll be fun to see what we get. This dye is pretty concentrated. And what I learned from some of my other dyeing experiments is that you need, will need to move the fiber around a lot um, to make sure that the speckles go all over the fiber. And so the slower I dab the yarn, the smaller specks I get, the more, you know, the, the plastic fork has these ridges on the back. Um, so you can actually kind of scoop up even more dye if you wanted to. Uh, but, you know, so having some of the specs might be bigger than others, but I am totally okay with that. As we go around kind of a random pattern. So over here, I'm starting to see a tiny bit of breaking. I'm seeing a little bit of blue 
travel out um, away from the darker purple. Uh, but you know, we'll take a really close look at the fiber when it is all dyed. Whoops. <laughs> and see, look, we got some splatter coverage because I hit the edge. Thankfully, I am wearing all black, so my clothes themselves should be pretty safe. And when doing these speckled yarn techniques, um, it's always good to have multiple dyeing things planned because, oops, because I have dyed, I've covered a lot of the yarn in specks so far, but I still have a lot of dye left over. Um, so I will want to have another project with which to dye the fiber. All right, now I'm gonna move it because we don't want there to be any big white patches by the time we're done with this fiber. So I'm gonna reposition. And hey, look, as I'm moving it, look, see all those blues? Let's see. See those blue patches over there? That's cool. Guys, we're seeing breaking. Um, it's possible that the reds strike at the top and some of the blues strike a little deeper. Cool. Um, I am going to carry on dabbing the yarn with my plastic fork and I will keep moving it until I get the um, coverage that I want and I don't see any big white patches. So I will come back when I'm happy with the coverage. And again, the only dye that I'm using right now is Wilton's Violet Food Coloring. Well, friends, what do you think? Did the color break? I would say so. We've got a heavily speckled yarn with bits of purple and the vibrant blue and some flecks of fuchsia where the dye has spread out a bit. Um, this is really, really cool and I am very excited with how it's turned out. And you can see that I've got, oh, maybe I've got one more spot. I just keep adding and keep adding. Um, but I've got very good coverage through all the fiber and there are no big white patches. So now I'm gonna wait for my steamer pot to start boiling so then I can add this fiber um, to the steam and heat it to set the dye on the fiber permanently. My steam bath is at a rolling boil, so now I can add the yarn. And I'm adding it on top of on top of this wire grating, and I'm going to reduce the heat so we're still at a boil, but I don't need it at quite a vigorous boil. And I'm going to put the lid on and let this steam for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of steaming and some time to cool, we are ready to wash the fiber. It is now time to rinse the yarn with lukewarm water and some just dishwashing soap. People often ask me if yarn dyed with food coloring is color fast. And the answer is that it is. Um, on this channel you can find a video where I put some yarn dyed with food coloring through the washing machine and the color remained intact. You might see some fading if you leave an item in direct sunlight for constantly for months, but my winter accessories that I wear you know, very frequently through the winter for years have not had any feeding. It looks like all of the color in this beautiful broken speckled yarn has absorbed to the fiber um, because nothing is coming out in the rinse water. So I am going to let this fiber dry and then I will show you the final finished yarn. We created speckled yarn by dipping a fork into a concentrated dye solution of Wilton's Violet Food Coloring. And look at the stunning color separation we got in each of the specks. 
since red dyes adhere to fiber faster, it stayed in place while the blue traveled across the fiber. And we ended up with this beautiful speckled yarn. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and thank you for watching yet another video of me breaking Wilton's Violet. It is one of my favorite food coloring based dyes to play around with, and stay tuned for even more Breaking Violet fun coming soon to the channel.